What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. Just a quick post fight thoughts video of the Nico Ali Walsh versus Alejandro Ibarra fight. Uh, to those who don't know, they uh, recently fought over the weekend over in Vegas in the undercard of the Oscar Valdez versus Shakur Stevenson fight. I was over at the Garden when this fight took place. I was watching the Taylor versus Serrano event. Uh, so I missed out on pretty much the whole entire event for the one in Vegas, except for the main event between uh, Stevenson and Valdez. But yeah, I'm catching up with my boxing and uh, watching this fight. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, man, big props to Nicole Walsh because I I honestly did not expect him to uh, pull off a knockout win the way he did. Landed a big right hand and put down Ibarra. Ibarra was, he, he was done. I mean, he he probably would have attempted to get up, get up but um, he, he would have, he, he wouldn't have made the 10 count. Um referee pretty much just waved off the fight immediately after looking at him for a sec uh but yeah it was a very good win for nicole walsh um you know I, I gotta give him props man i gotta give him props definitely uh he's he's uh he's winning i'll say this though he's definitely better than R ricky hatton's son son uh campbell hatton i'll say that i know a lot of people compare them you know saying that uh Nico Ali Walsh is like the, the UK version of uh, Camp Bohatton. But I'll say this. Nico Ali Walsh shows a lot more promise than Camp Bohatton in my opinion. And Nico Ali Walsh is still young. 21 years old. He'll continue to improve. Um, and yeah, just keep learning, man. Just keep learning and working on your craft. And I think eventually uh, more people will start giving him more respect. Uh, heck, I, he's earned my respect after this. Uh, going into this fight, I thought the bar was going to do better and maybe get robbed, but <laughs> that was not the case. Uh, Nicole Lee Walsh ended up uh, knocking him out in the first round. So, um, so yeah, big props, man. Big props to Nicole Lee Walsh on the win. I, I gave him a hell of a credit for pulling off that knockout win in round number one. Um, as for Alejandro Ibarra, uh, just didn't see it coming, man. Didn't see it coming. Um, got hit, went down, and he, he looked he looked like he, he, he if he did got up it, it would have just been a necessary punishment at that point so i uh, can't blame the ref russell Moore for stopping the fight right away um and yeah it's a very good win for nico lee walsh bro it, i mean ibarra going into this fight i thought he'd he definitely i thought he would box and outwork nico lee walsh but that that was not the case that was not the case anyway if you saw the fight, um, you can watch the whole entire event right now on ESPN Plus. That's what I'm doing. That's uh, that's how I'm catching up with the bo with the boxing that took place over in Vegas. Just watching the replays on ESPN Plus, and uh, you know, looking forward to uh, what's next for Nicole Walsh. I'm sure Top Rank is gonna keep him busy, keep him active. Uh, I'm sure he's gonna fight three, four more times this year, and uh, looking forward to all of them. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, I got to go to work. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.